friends, Miss Diana here. Today we are going to be making a craft of the coconut tree from the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom book. Okay, we read that together. And we're going to need some paint to start out. Or you can use markers or crayons because we're going to paint a towel roll. This is going to be our tree. Okay. All, hopefully all the letters will stay on and the tree won't what? Fall over like in the book. Okay, so what I got here is I have some brown paint for my tree. What part of the tree is that going to be? What part of the tree is this? Does anybody remember? The trunk. Very good. So I'm going to make my trunk brown. And I have a paintbrush here. And I'm going to start painting. Ooh, that's a nice brown color, isn't it? Yes. I think this is going to look good. I have to thank Ms. McCabe. Ms. McCabe gave me this idea. All right. Okay, so this is a coconut tree, right? Yes, it is. So I'm going to get there and I'm going to make some coconuts too. This is going to be very exciting. See how it's coming? Now, as I said again, you can use markers or you can use crayons if you don't have any paint or paintbrush you can make this brown with crayons or anything else it doesn't have to be paint and the paint takes a little time to dry too so let's see how we're doing here oh, i'm almost finished halfway down make sure you go all the way around I like the way that's coming. This will be so exciting. I want to see if I can get it to really look like a tree. Where do you think we're going to find all the letters? Anybody have any ideas where we can look? We can look in magazines, but first we have to ask the adult that's with us to help us find those magazines and make sure that they're finished reading them. We don't want to take magazines that maybe somebody's still looking at, right? Oh, I think I'm going to get a little paint on my hands here. Trying to be careful, but it happens. It's okay. And I think, yep, yeah, here we go. My tree trunk is ready. So I'm going to put this over here and this is going to dry for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm all right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Hmm. Anybody got any paint on them? Okay. So I'm going to put this on the side right now. I don't have a lot of space around here. And now I'm going to show you what I did. I wrote my name on a piece of paper and I'm going to cut these letters out so I can put these on the tree because I want my name on the tree. I want my letters to my name on the tree. You can have an adult that's with you help you. I have my safety scissors also and I'm going to cut out my name. Now, as I said, you can also ask the adult that's with you if there's a magazine or a newspaper that they're not using and you can go search for the letters, that's also fun. It's like a little treasure hunt, certain, searching for the different letters of your name. See, first I picked up my D. Let's see. And the next letter for me is an I. I don't know if you can see that. That was kind of small. Then an A, that's my 
my A. I wonder if anybody in the class has letters in their name that Miss Diana has in her name. N. And, oh, I have a double letter. I have another A. Okay. So now I have the letters to my name. But you know what? That's not enough letters for the tree, right? What made the tree bend over? Yeah, all the letters. It got heavy and all those letters were up there. And the tree just started tipping over. So we need more letters. So now <coughs> you could pick out letters um, for an adult that's with you, mommy or daddy, or grandma or grandpa, or an aunt and uncle, or maybe a brother or sister, and even a pet. You could have a dog, you could have a cat, and you can pick out the letters to their name. Or just pick out the letters to the alphabet. Just like in the book. Let's see, I have a Z. Oh my goodness. I have a Z. And oh, I found a W. And what else? Here's an X. I found an X. Yep. And everybody's tree can be different. You can put the letters anywhere you want on the tree. You do your tree the way you would like it. And there's a B. Found a B. Okay. Now, you can put more letters on it. You can put as many letters on the tree as you want, and hopefully they'll stand up. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some leaves for the top of the tree and some coconuts. Now I already wrote some out because Miss Diana needs practice. She's not very crazy. <laughs> I did end up making some leaves. I made them with a pencil and I made some coconuts. So now I'm going to color my leaves green and I'm going to color my coconuts. What color? What color are coconuts? Brown, right. Just like the tree. Okay. So I have some crayons here. I'm going to just use crayons for that, not paint, because this is smaller and a little quicker to work with. So I am going to, I'm going to show you as I'm coloring, I'm going to color my little leaves in green. There we go. That's pretty good, huh? I think this is going to look really good. I'm very excited to see how it's going to turn out. I want to put enough leaves on the top so that it looks like the coconut tree. What kind of leaves are those? Anybody know? These are like palm leaves. They're a little bit different. We don't really see those over here much because it, they are usually where there's hotter weather. Like in Florida, we might see them. In California, right? If anybody's ever gone to those places, or even if you see the place on TV, if you're watching a movie. Sometimes you see the different trees in different places. Okay, now my coconuts. My brown coconuts. A little lighter brown than the tree. That's okay. Coconuts are a little bit lighter anyway. Okay. Here we go. And now I'm going to cut them out. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to show that it's my coconut tree with my palm leaves. I think it'll be pretty good. See, not too bad. I think I'm 
getting some more practice working with you guys in class and everything. Before you know it, you're going to be really good at it, like you guys. You guys work hard on your crafts. There we go. Okay, my second leaf. And with the leaves too, you can make as many as you want. You can make as little leaves as you want, and you can make as many leaves as you want. That is your decision. It is your tree. I want a few leaves. <clears throat> Let's see how that looks. Can't wait to put my letters on. I want to see what happens. Okay, three, four, mm -hmm. Five, the last leaf. So let's see. And six. So how many leaves do I have on my tree? Or am I going to have on my tree? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, right? Perfect. Good job. Now for my coconuts, and then we can start putting everything on the tree. I think the tree trunk is looking pretty dry. How about yours? Okay. Is coconut? <clears throat> coconut. And the coconut. I'm going to see how many coconuts I'm going to have on the tree. Yeah. I'm going to count those out. Okay. So, one, two, three. Very good. So now I have six leaves and three coconuts that I'm going to put on the tray. Okay. Now I have my glue ready. And it looks good. My trunk is ready and my letters are ready. So here we go. I am going to make my leaves on the tree. Uh, I gotta hold my glue there a little bit longer. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's one. Two. Three, four, five. And six. Oh, that was perfect. Went all around the top of my tree trunk. Look. 
Okay. I like that. How about the coconuts? Ready for the coconuts? One, two, how that look? And one more makes three. Three coconuts. How's that? I'm happy with my coconuts. It's really good. Okay, so first I'm going to start putting my name letters on. What's the first letter of my name? D. How does that sound? D, D, D. Like one of Miss Diana's favorite things, dinosaurs. Yep, that's right. I'm going to put the D right there. I want my name to be seen on my tree. Next one for my name is an I. You know what starts with I? Igloo. Igloo. And we learned about igloos, right? When we were learning about houses and structures. Yes. Okay. Now A is my next letter. A, A, A. What starts with A? Apple. Very good. I know somebody out there was saying Apple. Okay, so far, so good. I like the way everything's coming. Okay, I N. N. Has N sound. Mm. We think of any words that start with N? Night. Night starts with N. And I need one more to finish my name. Another A. Look. So I have my coconut tree. And my letters climbing up. Diana. I love it. Now I have some other letters that want to find their way onto my tree. Look, I found a Z. Let me put the Z. Let's put him over here. Z. -Z, -Z. We think of something that starts with Z. Hmm, I can think of zebra. Was anybody out there saying zebra? I'm sure you were. Okay. And I also found a B. Put my B right there. B, B, B. Baseball. I know somebody out there is saying baseball. And a W. W over here. He's trying to get all the way up the tree. What? What? What starts with W? Wing, like a bird's wing. 
That would work, yes. Let's see. Oh, look, I have an F. And I'm sure that some of these letters are in some of my friends' names. So we have an F that we could put. Oh, he's really trying to get to the top of that tree. That tree is going to get heavy up there. We have a lot of letters. F. Fireman. Very good. Hey, you know what? I think I'm finished right now at my tree. You could put more letters on. You could put a lot of people's names on and your family, like I said. And I really like my tree. I'm getting more crafty. I think I like it. I'm going to save this. What I really would like to see, maybe some pictures, if you guys can do um, a coconut tree, I'd really love to see it. That would make me very happy. All right. I hope you guys had a good time. I had a great time working with you. And I hope to see you soon. Till next time. Bye.